All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Kermit, not Marty McFly, unfortunately. And behind me is a 1981 DeLorean, completely original. This thing is absolutely awesome. I've never seen one in person. Um, I mean, it's just downright cool. We're going to go and throw this thing up on the hoist, and you're gonna show, we're going to show you all the technical ins and outs of it. We're going to go and take it for a ride, weather permitting, of course, um, and uh, you know, show you the interior, the exterior of it. Um, and I noticed I didn't say paint because there's no paint on it. Um, outside of that, we'll start it up. All right, guys, on the front of this thing, absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Uh, very, very 80s, these headlights. And you can see the... Uh, the license plate on this. Anyone that's seen the movie um, Back to the Future, you're going to get the reference, of course. Uh, I mean, the hood on the thing is great. I, I would say the paint job looks great, but of course there is no paint job. I mean, this is just brushed stainless steel, and of course it doesn't rust. They can do this to it, and it looks absolutely amazing on it. Um, I really dig the look. I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't keep making cars like this because, I mean, it, of course it's still around. There's no rust on it because it just doesn't rot, and especially here in Michigan, we'd really like to see that. Um, very unique body style that this car has, and of course the engine is not underneath that. That is the trunk. The engine is back there. It's a little six-cylinder that they, these things came with. I think it had an optional V6 or a four-cylinder, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, and that is the six-cylinder model. Um, of course, gold wing doors on it. We're going to show you the interior in a second, but it's just too cool and I can't wait. That works perfectly fine on it, and uh, you saw the Spin City sign. This car was actually in Spin City, and uh, there's, a, of course, the sign in there. Uh, around the back side of it, the quarter panel on the thing is beautiful. I mean, it's in really good shape, of course. I mean, all the brushwork looks like it's all nice and flowing very, very well. Uh, original um, DeLorean tires on the thing as well. All the lenses look like they're in good shape. I mean, you can see here, like the, the louvers in the back here. You pop this up here, lift that up. The engine's back in here. All the shocks are actually, you know, still functional on the thing. Um, Tail lights are beautiful. One, one of the other things that just screams 80s is this ta these tail lights, the little exhaust pipes coming out, and it even says DeLorean there on the back. Um, if you haven't seen one in person, they actually are very, very cool cars. Um, I was actually kind of blown back with it when I uh, first saw this car. I sat there and looked at it for like a good 15, 20 minutes, just kind of taking in all the details on this thing. Uh, you can see all the glass on this thing is in beautiful shape, and it all looks to be original glass. It has like all of the... Uh, original little stamps and things like that on it, all like the little decals. All the factory decals look beautiful. I mean, you can look at that, absolutely beautiful. The doors work just fine. All like the hydraulics and the, the springs and stuff like that to help the gold wing doors operate, all of it works great. Hood's in beautiful shape. All of this is in beautiful shape. And I wonder to myself, how many kitchen sinks and how many stainless steel refrigerators did this thing uh, void the country of when they had to make these things? I mean, there's gotta be at least like four refrigerators at least in this thing. <laughs> Um, let's take a look at the interior. All right, guys, the interior of this thing, you saw me open it once, but I want to just keep doing it because I love it. Uh, I would like to point out, this thing has got a whole lot of signatures all over this thing. I think the doc signed it, Marty McFly signed it, and uh, Marty McFly's girlfriend from the movie signed it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, those are the signatures. Uh, and there might be even another one because I think there's uh, both head uh, sun visors are uh, signed, the steering wheel is signed, and the door jam here is signed, all, uh, all signatures from the movie. But uh, as you can see, outside of the, you know, and of course it was in Spin City, I've already mentioned that. Outside of all of that, uh, the actual base car is in really good shape. You know, this thing's merit isn't solely on just, you know, its wow factor and its connection to the movie. It's actually a very nice car. I mean, everything seems to work. Not if I can figure out how to actually operate the horn. Everything seems to work just fine on the thing. The carpet's in really good shape. Uh, all like the um, weather stripping, I mean, it, I believe it's all original to the car. None of it's been replaced. It's all just been taken care of. And uh, this car, where it was stored, was stored in a very loving environment. And of course, the guy was a movie fanatic. He loved the movie and he loved this car. And to him, this car was not an automobile. It was a museum piece. Um, you can see the dash is in wonderful shape on the thing. All the gauges are, are perfectly functional on it. Uh, it looks to be the original radio in the thing. I'll actually move this so you can see. It is an automatic car. Um, you can see all like the switches and stuff like that. Just a very, very period for the car, you know. Um, put this back here. It does look like it has AC and it does work both ice cold, the mechanic told us. Um, the back of the thing, all the carpet behind the seats here, all of it's a beautiful shape. 
The seat looks to be like, you know, the original leather type seat. However, it does get a little bit of wear on it, you know, as an original car would, but uh, nothing too bad. I mean, you know, something that you'd maybe see a couple years after you bought it. Uh, really not very bad at all. Uh, absolutely beautiful. The door jams look great. All, you know, of course, you know, I always give the feel underneath here for the rust, but I mean, let's face it, it, it's not going to rust. Let's check out the passenger side. All right, guys, passenger side, same as the driver's side. God, I love these doors. All right, under here, you can see the dashboard is in wonderful shape on it. You can see that the carpet on this side is wonderful shape. Give you another mat lift just so you can see. Uh, like I said, this car was not considered a car where it was, where it was stored. This car was considered part of this guy's living room piece. I mean, it was, it was more or less a talking point more so than it was an automobile. And that is why it has survived uh, so intact all of these years. If you can see it, I mean, the, uh, the headliner on the car is absolutely beautiful. No sagging going on or anything of that nature. And I do, one thing that uh, is a little bit comical to me, and you can see it over here, and you can see it up here as well. These are actually, this little divot here is actually for your head, so you don't hit your head on it, for, you know, for taller people on this little thing. Very, very cool. All the plastic looks like it's in pretty good shape on your interior quarter panels. I mean, just a downright, it's a great example, a great example of a DeLorean. Um, let's check out, uh, I guess, this would be the trunk. So we're going to check out underneath the front hood and or trunk, if you want to call it that. All right, guys, under the hood here, um, we had some uh, difficulty finding it. The release is actually up here in the driver's uh, your footwell, kind of on the, uh, the side panel there. But uh, once we did get it open here, you can see it's in pretty good shape under here. We'll give you the mat lift, of course. This is just the original factory sound deadening. And look at that. It's got the original spare tire under here. I mean, very, very cool. Here's where your brake fluid would go. Here's where your gas goes. I mean, uh, I believe that, that is actually what that is. I think the gas tank actually is in the front up here. Um, I mean, the light's still working on the thing. I mean, this is your windshield wiper, uh, wiper washer reservoir. I mean, all the carpet under here is in really good shape. I mean, this thing is just preserved. I, I, it's actually, I'm kind of taken back by how, uh, how good a shape this thing is in. Um, I guess at this point, we're going to go take it outside here and we'll see if we can actually uh, give you a running video of this car. All right, it's the point in the video where normally we'd be out driving or going for a time machine ride or something because we're in a DeLorean. Anyway, it's winter time here in Michigan, and we're not taking the time machine out in the winter. I'm thinking about going back to summer, though. I tell you, look down here on the dash. We've got signature here on the steering wheel. Dash is beautiful. Everything about this baby is beautiful. All the upholstery looks good. Um, it's just an amazing car. What a great job DeLorean did when he built this car. Now, if you want to know just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive, Call Tom at 248-974-9513. And don't forget, this is the car that was in the episode of Spin City when they changed their uh, movie times. Michael J. Fox was driving it. We've got a Spin City uh, poster right here on the dash. Now, if you want to check out just how nice the bottom side of this car is and the motor compartment, stick with us because we're going to put it up on the lift so you can see how nice the bottom side is. Then we're going to take a look at that motor making all that beautiful uh, music coming out of the tailpipes. All right, guys, this is the underside of our DeLorean. You can see that it's in pretty good shape under here, right here at the back. Here's the muffler and here's the engine. I know we normally don't get to this until we get to the front of the car, but it's actually back here. Um, you can see that everything's in pretty good shape here. You can see the oil filters over here. It looks like it's uh, relatively fresh. It's probably just had an oil change put on the thing. Um, I like the finned uh, oil pan here. You can see all the exhaust up on top of the motor. All of it looks like it's in pretty darn good shape. Um, you can see here, this would be the, uh, the coil over shock or, uh, shock or strut, whatever you want to call it. Um, back here, you can see in front of this all here is the transaxle. This is a three-speed automatic transaxle in this thing. You can see the CV joints going out to each wheel. And of course, we, you know, we always shake this stuff down and we've, we've kind of gone through this car and looked at the health of everything and everything has passed our, uh, our approval test here. You can also see we've got brand new radiator hoses here. Yes, coolant actually runs through these and goes to a radiator that's up in front of the car. Uh, generally, these I wouldn't imagine to have too many overheating issues because you have all of this coolant going underneath this car and all this stuff is being cooled. I would imagine that uh, that is relatively good for the motors uh, to keep them nice and cool. Moving forward to that, you can see the frame rail right here. All this stuff looks like it's in really good shape. And I'm actually really impressed to see what the floorboards look like. But then again, as you heard me say, this guy never really drove this thing. This thing was more or less just a, sh a showpiece for him. Um, moving forward to that, I would like to see that the panel's in really good shape here. This little closeout panel here, it looks like it's got all brand new bolts in it. Someone has had this thing off of here recently, probably to clean things up, take a look at things. Moving forward to that, um, of course, there's no engine up here. 
But uh, there is, this is essentially the trunk pan uh, up here in the front. You can see here that the front end's in pretty good shape, though. You've got our sway bar here. We've got coil, uh, coil and uh, independent shocks in the front here. This does have like a rack and pinion style uh, front end on the thing. And I would like to point out that it even uh, maintains its uh, DeLorean style hoses on it, where it's actually got the, like, the spirals over it. Someone actually kept the spirals when they changed these. Very, very cool stuff. Upper control arm looks like it's in good shape. Same thing with the lower one. All the suspension looks like it's in pretty good shape. Of course, we've, we shook this thing down. We do have front disc brakes on this thing, I would like to point out as well. Um, and this side looks just as good as the uh, passenger side. I mean, everything is just downright original, and there's the horn. <laughs> uh, oh, we do have electric something else I would like to point out, too, is we do have, because the engine is back there, there's no uh, crank fan to actually drive the fans in the front, so they are uh, electric fans up here in front with the radiator being right underneath this balance here. Let's check out wheels and tires. Alright guys, for rolling stock in the front, we've got the original DeLorean style wheels. This is the same ones that I saw in uh, Back to the Future, and it are, they are the four lug ones. And as far as tires go, it does have nitto uh, radials on the thing. I've always been pretty impressed with uh, the nitto tires. I've always liked them quite a bit. Um, the size on them is P195 uh, 60 HR14s, which means this is a 14 inch rim. Um, I would like to point out too while we're here, this thing does have a little scrape right here on this uh, quarter panel here, and I just wanted to divulge it for you guys so you guys could actually see exactly uh, what you're buying here. And you know, we're, we're not going to lie to you, it's got that. It's uh, just the nature of the beast. Let's check out the rear. All right, guys, on the back, it does have a bit of a staggered wheel on it. These are 23560R15s, so these is, this is a 15 inch rim. Um, with a slightly fatter and bigger tire on it. It does give the car a little bit of a rake, but they are the DeLorean style wheels on the thing, four lugs, and uh, behind there, of course, it would be your, um, actually, I believe this is, oh, excuse me, this thing actually has disc brakes in the rear. I can't believe I didn't notice that. This thing has disc brakes in the rear, um, all completely original rolling stock, although this tire is not a niddle like it is in the front. This is actually a Goodyear uh, Eagle uh, GT2. Um, I guess at this point we'll uh, pop, I guess, not so much the front hood, but the rear hood and check out the little six cylinder under the hood. Alright guys, this is the under hood of the DeLorean. Of course, the engine is in the back, as you've heard me mention many times before. Um, this thing is, uh, more specifically, 2,849 cc's. Uh, this is a six cylinder, a V6 engine, and it is relatively just about the same as DeLorean uh, they came out with in the factory. You can see here, this is an early uh, form of fuel injection on these things, and I really love um, 80s fuel injection because it's when it first came out, and you could actually see a lot of the components as opposed to just going to a sensor and then going into a computer. A lot of this is still analog. It's almost like a hybrid of uh, mechanical and, um, and uh, electronic fuel injection, which is very, very cool on this thing. So, I mean, most of it, you can actually see the individual components and see what they do, and they're really not that bad, and it's a, it's a nice little oddity for us uh, mechanical geeks. So if you're a mechanical guy that likes to look at this sort of stuff, you'll get a kick out of this. Um, outside of that, you can see that most of it is uh, in pretty good shape back here. You can see all the hoses look like they've actually been replaced. Um, you can see this one, this one down here, but this belt looks to be brand new. This belt here looks like it's in pretty good shape. AC compressor here, this is your throttle actually right here. You can see all of your, um, your canisters and all that look like they're in pretty good shape. No cracks, and no uh, age cracks or anything of that nature. Dry rod also would have taken a play in this thing, but it really doesn't look like it has. And most of the hoses look like they still even have the uh, factory stamps on the thing. So very impressive shape this car is in. Um, and I'd, uh, I'd, I'd recommend that you come out. If you're interested in it, come out and look at it for yourself. And you'll, you'll actually see what this thing's really made of. It's actually a pretty nice car. So guys, that about sums it up. If you'd like to have this time machine parked in your driveway, make sure to call Vanguard Motor Sales at the number below and let us park your dreams in your driveway.